Well, 10,000 people will carry the Olympic flame on its relay across France. It's now approaching its final destination, Paris, the opening ceremony on Friday. Our correspondent, Ross Cullen, met one of the torchbearers. This is Anthony Desjardins, one of the Olympic torchbearers. He ran in the relay just five days after the flame arrived on French soil. The 41-year-old says he was very nervous in the moments leading up to grasping the torch for the first time. Bizarrely, as soon as I stepped off the bus to go carry the flame, all the stress disappeared. I felt as though I was on cloud nine. I was really proud because I was carrying the flame and also a message. And that message comes from experience. Anthony suffers from Parkinson's disease, having been diagnosed three years ago at the age of 38. The illness is progressing, but is in check thanks to treatment. Anthony wants to raise public awareness of the number of young people with the disease through his social media profiles and a series of videos on YouTube. He was one of 10,000 people who was chosen to be a torchbearer, selected for his commitment and action in bringing sport to people who have Parkinson's. I have a project called Ciel Mon Parqui, where I actually take a step back from the camera and let other people with the disease tell their stories. It's a first-person type of program. With this, I try to inform as many people as possible. My goal is to grow this YouTube channel and reach a maximum number of people. Anthony took part in the relay in the southern city of Montpellier, close to where the Olympic sailing competition will be taking place. The Olympic flame has travelled thousands of kilometres across the country, from the capital city to the overseas territories, to the snowy peaks of the Alps, and here, the sun-baked south of the country. Anthony, like all the torchbearers, was presented with keepsakes to mark his part in the relay, a memento of his role in creating history in the first summer games in France for 100 years. Ross Cullen, CGTN, Montpellier, in southern France. Hungary has competed in the single skulls rowing at every Olympics since 1932, but has never won gold. But this year, the Hungarian team is hoping to change that in Paris.